Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's Pickle Lady. Today I'm going to show you how to make Pad Thai, which is a Thai noodle dish. And in the past it was called newspaper noodles because that's the way they used to serve it in newspaper or in, in paper. So today they just call it Pad Thai. <music> So I have here some of the ingredients I wanted to show you first. This one here is palm sugar and it comes in little cakes like this. It's very hard. So uh, what you have to do is you have to, uh, I found by uh, just by trial and error that I, if I put it in some water and soak it, it'll s soften up but some of these haven't really dissolved so you can just take a spoon and just mash it up a little bit and it's fine like that so I put probably about three cubes in there and then maybe I have a little bit too much water but maybe about a quarter cup of water in here and let it sit now these are garlic chives uh, different from your regular chives uh, because they smell like garlic and it gives off a nice flavor. So what I've done is I've cut it into two inch strips. And the next thing is uh, peanuts. I have here some roasted peanuts and one of the easiest ways to do it if you don't want to get out your processor or your blender is just smash it with a pot like so. Just takes a few minutes. And that's it okay next is the lime and the way that the Asians cut it they cut off the ends and then on the long side you cut it so that it looks like this and then like this and then the side and oh, this part is no good so cut that away And when they serve it, we'll take out the seeds later, and they just put it on a serving dish and have it like this. Okay. Next thing is tamarind. Tamarind is a sour fruit that comes with a hard pod, and it looks like this. And it comes compact. The, the pod has been taken out, but the seeds are, are still there. So what I did was I cut about oh, maybe half an inch to make a quarter cup of tamarind. And um, I soaked it in some water, maybe about a half a cup of water. And then I put it through a strainer like this. And now you have this kind of thick mixture here. Okay. need this anymore and the next thing is tofu if you can find this I happened to look in a store in Chinatown and it came in a little container like this little cubes it's already fried so it'll keep the shape so if you don't have it you probably can use the firm tofu but you have to be very careful or maybe you have to fry it first but you see, these are really nice and firm. So we'll put that in. And then I have here some shrimp, probably about half a pound of shrimp that I've peeled and deveined. And then I have here some good shrimp. This is the top quality shrimp. And I've just soaked it a little bit to soften it some. And then I have here some pickled radish that is kind of sweetened okay and it comes in a package like this and the ingredients will tell you that it has sugar this particular one I guess I got the wrong one so I try to soak it to get rid of a lot of the sugar and then I have here I'm going to make the sauce for the pad thai so what you do is you take 
three kinds of uh, sour things. So maybe about half a cup of tamarind. You can buy the tamarind concentrate too. Then you don't have to go through all this trouble, but I did it this way. Okay. Then I put in some palm sugar. And maybe two tablespoons of lime juice, which is about a, the size, uh, the lime is the size of a ping pong ball. Okay. And then maybe about uh, two tablespoons of vinegar. And about two tablespoons or so of fish sauce. The sauce should be kind of like sweet sour. Let me taste this. Maybe a little bit more sugar. Okay, I think that's good. So now, oh and then I have here half an onion that I've cut up, sliced up, and then about maybe two, three cups of head cabbage, okay? What? No, that's it. Okay, now we'll go to the stove and we'll start cooking this. Okay, now we're gonna fry the pot thai. So I have here about two tablespoons of oil put it, the, the wok is hot. I'm putting it in here. Now we're putting the onions. I'm going to put some garlic, about a tablespoon or more. Maybe a couple of spoonfuls. This is pretty fast, as long as you have everything ready. But there's some unusual ingredients in here. Okay, now I'm going to do the tofu. And pour in the shrimp. This is dried shrimp. See, if you were to use the regular uh, firm tofu, it would all break up. But this, because it's fried, it's firm, and it'll keep its shape. Now, some people use the tofu that's uh, it's much firmer, and it's compact, and it's marinated in some sauce. So whatever kind of tofu you use is fine. Now I'm going to put in the, the dried turnips. The cabbage. Just mix it up. Now, like I said, I have the garlic chives, and if you can't find garlic chives, you can just use green onions. Okay. But fortunately, this came from the San Miguel Community Garden. Like I said, I, got a, I get a lot of vegetables from there and herbs. I'm pushing all of this to the side and I'm going to pour the eggs in. I have here five eggs. You can put more if you like. Just gonna swish it around a little bit. 
Some people will fry the eggs first, so you, it's really mixed up well. So I'm going to put the shrimp in. I didn't want to put it in too early because it will overcook. Use a, I think a wooden spoon is best and it doesn't scratch the pan so much and it's easy to release the, the things on the bottom. Okay, now we're going to put the noodles in. And that's quite a bit. So they're all soaked. I have two kinds because that's what I have. So doesn't matter which one you use. I, I used the wider one and I soaked it. It doesn't take long to soak, maybe about an hour or so, sometimes less. And then I have the thinner ones, like a thick noodle. So now all you do is you mix it all up. And it's kind of hot. And this looks like a lot, but like I said, we got a big family and the big eaters. And the kids are bringing some of their friends over, so I have to make a little bit more. See, and if you have a good walk and you use it a lot, uh, it's kind of seasoned itself and it's not really sticking. So when you buy a wok, be sure you find out how to season it so it won't stick. Okay, now I'm going to add the sauce that I made. This is with uh, palm sugar and uh, tamarind water. Oh, and then some fish sauce. I'll put that too. Again, you can adjust adjust the seasoning to your taste. If you want more sweet, more salty, just change it around a little bit. And then again, if you want chili, you can put fresh chilies, you can put chili garlic sauce, paprika, whatever you like. And don't ever try to boil these noodles because if you do, it'll turn to mush. So what, what you do is you soak it like I did until it's kind of soft and when you mix it around, it'll cook in here. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, fish sauce. And again, people use all kinds of brands, but I like this particular one. The uh, Three crab brand fish sauce. To me, that's the best tasting. See, the shrimp is cooking more. I didn't want to cook it all the way because then it'll be tough. And I cut it in three pieces so that everybody will have equal bites. And if it's dry, you can uh, add some chicken stock a little bit. Oh. 
That's Lily. She's probably smelling the food too. And then I have the last one is the uh, bean sprouts, mung bean sprouts. I'm just going to use about half of it. I should have gotten two packages, but that's okay. Basically, this is it. Now let's taste it and see. Maybe we'll put some of the shrimp on to give it a little moisture. In Thailand, I stayed there for a month with the lady, and uh, every so often, every day, this she would call up this lady on the phone, and uh, she would order pod thai for two of us. And this lady would come at a certain time, like maybe 11:30 or so, and she'd bring us two servings of pod thai, wrapped in paper, and then with all of this on it and on the side she put bean sprouts some uh, peanuts and some chilies and that only cost a dollar so it was kind of a big plate okay i forgot some peanuts so it's maybe about half of this okay now let's give it a taste shrimp, fresh shrimp. Okay. Where's my fork over here? Okay, try it. A little bite of everything. Very tasty. So don't forget to make it yourself. You can do it. So if you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any suggestions, let me know and I'll help you out. Thank you for watching. Mahalo. Okay, when we first took out the noodles, they were kind of hard. So what i done is I put some stock, some chicken stock. And actually I made a little bit more of the tamarind uh, sugar sauce and some fish sauce to give it more taste. So you can see the consistency now it looks more like a cooked noodle. Okay. So this is it.